Hey guys, Alex here and yes, that's absolutely correct. After almost four years of using GoPro 8 as my main motorcycle camera, I'm switching to another one. I'm switching to this beast, Insta360 Ace Pro, a new product from Insta360, a beast of the camera. And in this video, I'll tell you why, in my opinion, this camera is the best for motorcycle riders and probably the best on the market. The very first thing that caught my attention is this small label like on the top of the lenses and if you're into photography world you know when you hear the word Leica it means something good and it is a really good sensor it is much bigger comparing to other action cameras and it performs really well in low light conditions and I did some quick testing and it really does it really does perform really well and it even takes great photos Okay, I will not talk much, let me quickly show you my setup and then we hit the road and we'll see how it performs. It looks a little bit bulky and complicated, but actually it's not. So I'm using an external mic, that's why I'm having a 3.5 adapter here from Insta360. I'm using a wireless Manma mic, not the best choice, later I will tell you why, but it's, this is the one I have. I have a transmitter inside of the helmet over there and I have a receiver. Uh, right here. So to mount this receiver you need a cold through this part so you can mount things here also from Insta360 and basically yeah That's it. Oh, yeah, and uh, I'm using a fast seat helmet really good helmet recommended and oh, I love China for that I could find on Taobao this like sticker mount Especially for this model of helmet and it's actually like very robust. It's not plastic. Oh, man. I'm loving it. somewhere in Chiang Mai right now. In fact, I have no idea where exactly I am. Okay, today, I, actually, I want to go to... Where should I go? Oh, I should go left. To the place that I passed almost every time I went out traveling. Meilan Diameta, Meilan Sister Towers. Banana plantations everywhere here in Chiang Mai. So right now I have the whole Insta360 setup. <laughs> So I think this combination is probably perfect for motorcycle riders. This camera, Insta360 Ace Pro, actually can shoot in 8K. I mean, I probably I don't see myself shooting 8K. 4K is enough for me, but there is one feature that's really, really useful, and it uses 8K, and I will show you guys later. If you noticed, I have this small thing right here on the handlebar. This is GPS remote. Okay, I will tell you more about it right now, but I will pull over because it's not safe. Basically, you can see everything that you're shooting right here on the screen. You can start the recording, uh, you can change the settings for motorcycle people to be able to see here. Your angle is really, really cool. You don't have to take off your helmet. It also saves your GPS data, which you can use later, and you can do some cool stuff. But the best feature for motorcycle people out there, you know, it is so simple, but it's so brilliant at the same time, to be able to pause and cancel recording. I don't see myself using pause recording for a lot of times, but cancel recording is something brilliant because in the videos I'm using two languages, not my native languages, and that's why I make a lot of mistakes. And to be able for me, like when I know that I'm not going to use this footage, just to delete it, so you just need to press this button for three seconds, and then it deletes the recording. So when I come back to the editing, I have all the files I need. I don't need to go through all the files and pick the, the footage I really need. Oh yeah, actually guys, I forgot to tell you why this wireless mic from Mama is not really good for the uh, scenario that I'm using. I have to speak very, very quiet and probably you can feel that because if you speak louder, it will clip. So maybe, I'm sorry guys, it clip somewhere. These are the towers. Oh, they're actually very small, right? So this is from the Song Dynasty, as I understand. Looks very old. So these two are 
Milan Timaita or Milan Sista towers and the history go back to around 9 centuries ago. They are considered to be the oldest and the most well preserved towers of this style in Hainan and actually to be honest in Hainan you don't often see so many towers of this style so this is pretty cool and according to the legend there was a man living in the village nearby and he built his two daughters for... Uh, for sorry and that's why I make a lot of mistakes <laughs> he built these two towers for his two daughters and this one is a younger sister tower and this one is elder sister tower they're kind of a little bit different but kind of the same style so this is really cool And remember I told you about the feature that uses 8K? Just look at this. And it will zoom in without losing the quality. A good historic site to visit. You don't see so often towers like this in Hainan. And what about the plan for now? I have no plan. How good it is to have no plan. I think I just want to make a coffee, like good old times, you know, just making a coffee somewhere in the countryside, in a quiet place and just enjoying. I think I'll do that. Yeah, let's do that. If there is a road, it means it leads somewhhere to Ibudui. Huh? Oh, this is some shui cool. Oh, you cannot go there. Right. Well, but I mean, there is a trail here, so I will go, I'm sorry, oops, I just want to look around, this is a cool place, but there is no shadow, <laughs> and if I stay here, I will burn myself, this is a good view, yeah, I love it. We got a problem. Do you think I will fit here? Ah, no way. <laughs> I think I'm going back. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll just take a rest here. Why not? Why not, yeah? It's a nice place. It's quiet. I don't have any table with me or whatever, but this is what you do when you uh, when you're driving a bike and you don't have a table. You just take here. You have a table. <laughs> Simple like that. And if you want to have a chair, you just do like this. Cool is that, huh? Perfect. Let's make some coffee, guys. Here we go. Gas. Super cheap. The gas stove I'm using. It's like it's not good. I want to change it. So maybe you can recommend recommend me one. Where is the wind coming from? Okay, I can put it here. While the water is boiling, let's prepare the coffee. <sighs> like good old times, really. Just making coffee in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know where I am actually. This Shui Ku doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a name on the map. It doesn't have any signs. So I don't really know what what is the name of the Shui Ku. You know, talking about writing and filming at the same time, it's always like kind of a challenge, but I wouldn't say challenge, I would say interesting challenge, because you're always striving for 
the best audio, the best image quality, the best settings, the best shot. And I feel like with this setup that I got now with Insta360 X3, 360 degrees and uh, Insta360 Ace Pro, the new camera, I feel like I'm set. I just need to improve my audio and actually I already know the way. I just, you know, waiting for some things from Taobao and <laughs> I think I'll be good. I hope from today's video, from the way I use the camera, you have a general understanding if it is good for your case. I think for most of the motorcycle riders, this camera, I feel like perfect choice. Oh, actually, actually, I think I have something. Ooh. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is a cranberry scone, and this is from the Heiko's Bakery Sweet Aroma. And they do really good desserts and bread, and really reminds me of something from my home, and it's really good. Mmm. Go ahead. Mmm. One way. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Why is it so good?